They have the power to one-hit delete an enemy here on ASTD. Are they gonna be OP as a team? Hmm. Let's find out. It's so cold outside. I'm alone. I'm What is going on, Snow Squad? It's your boy Snow, and welcome back again for another video here in All Star Tower Defense. And as you guys can see on my attire, I am back as the General Snow because we're gonna be planting a lot of C4 here on ASTD. Because as you guys can see, our roster will be consisted of those units who actually got a nuke button or the manual skill that can delete a lot of units, guys. Well, to be honest, it's only gonna be like like Yagami, Megamin, and also Emiya. But I decided to add Whitebeard 6 star and also Fujitora because why not? We are not always using them anyway. But anyway, we're going to be deleting a lot of units here. And hopefully this unit is going to be solid because I want to see ASDD when kab... So what are you waiting for, guys? Let's go. This is going to be a little bit tricky, guys, because we do not have any defense against air units. Well, of course, except for their manual abilities. But yeah, that is the only thing that I'm really anxious about this roster. But also, we need to make sure that our light Yagami will be placed on time just for us to get at least a decent amount of waves. We do not have any other supporting units here except for our Bull Mama. No slow, no stun, so everything will be fast here. But anyway, I think that, yeah, the most reasonable unit to use just to start us off will be our Emiya because he's one of those new units. Of course, his DPS would be really good. And also, guys, Keep in mind that even though we got here Megamin, Fujitora, and also Whitebeard 6 star, they're kind of outdated already. So hopefully their manual skills would still be able to help us. But anyway, I'm just going to max out our Bulma farm and I'll be right back. Okay, wave number 13 and we now got a maxed out Bulma farm. It's now about time for us guys to plant the C4. And I think that we're going to start the very first C4 here. And where are those air units? Uh, okay, okay. The air units just spawned. So I guess that there's nothing to worry about. Actually, guys, let me give them a taste of our lightning storm. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> the bomb has been destroyed. <laughs> all right. So um, I think that, yeah, we're just going to place like all of our Emias. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess. But actually, I think that we need to place our Emias a little bit in front. Yeah. So that we can also make use of this uh, at least 7,160 damage. But the most important thing that we need to do here, guys, is of course to watch out for these air units. Because that would really be dangerous for us. Alright, so I think that it's now about time. Lightning storm. <laughs> Kaboom. Okay. This is going to be fun later, guys. This is going to be fun. The only thing is all of them will be manually activated. So anyway, guys, what is your favorite manual skill here on ASTD. For me, it's always going to be and it will never be changed, I think. It's always going to be Desunoto here on ASTD because, I mean, I think that's already part of being an OG. And just a little bit of a trivia, guys. Light Yagami was actually one of the worst five-star units before but it was just because of the change that happened to his character that's the reason why he is now or has been part of the meta since then but trust me guys he was actually one of the worst unit here because when you place him you cannot really control it like when you place him he will instantly damage someone i think he's only also gonna be like a single target unit and he will instantly damage a unit for like ten thousand damage so that's the reason why no one is actually using him probably some um, uh, especially on story mode. Yo, guys, look at this minute though. Like, he's moonwalking. We do not have Blackbeard. <laughs> what is happening in this game? <laughs> Bro, he's so scared of Emiya. Look at Emiya's face. He's... <laughs> He's not happy. Okay, finally. All right, so we're now on wave number 19. And you know what? I think that we should now really start placing our light Yagami. Maybe only at least two. Yeah, at least two light Yagami so that we would be able to make sure that we can kill those really, really tanky air units later. All right, there you go. Bomb has been planted again. And I think it's about time for our 
um, white beard six star to be here in front. All right, we're just gonna place him in front because, well, he's also gonna be spawning some um, tsunamis, right? So I think this is the best placement for our white beard six star. And it's just really funny to see that Blackbeard Sixter is really a must and Whitebeard Sixter is kind of like meh. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really matter how big of a One Piece fan you are, but yeah, Whitebeard is just not really a good unit, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, there you go, guys. We now have here a complete set of Whitebeard Sixter. It's now about time for our Fujitora to be placed as well. I kind of miss using Fujitora, not gonna lie. <laughs> I mean, if you guys are OG in this channel, I actually use Fujitora as well on beating the Trials 2. Um, I forgot. I forgot. But yeah, it, it was like the challenge with Doflamingo. No, no, no. Trials 3, I believe. Yeah. And that was really challenging as well before. But <laughs> he was the only ground unit that I used, I thought. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, Fujitora was also a very good unit before. Especially if you're grinding EXP units. But of course, it's just normal to see them really say goodbye to the roster. Because, I mean... The power creep every single update is just insane. And I think that, yeah, all of these units like Fujitora and also our Whitebeard Six Star will just stay probably here in front. Um, okay, I think that I'm just gonna place him here. So that if ever we need to spam their skills, we can just go to the other side of the map and we're not gonna be lagging out. Cause I mean, the worst thing scenario is we will be disconnected because of the lag. Okay, there you go. All of our Fujitoras are now placed as well. And our Mega Man is now up next. All right, so this is really a very tricky unit to use. And I kind of feel bad about Mega Man though. I mean, Mega Man has a really good potential, but I just really cannot understand why they put like a delay on Mega Man's attack. I mean, Mega Man as a unit is not really strong i mean look at that 214.2 damage 5 spa well she's only level 20 by the way but yeah she's only gonna be a single target unit however guys if you will click her manual ability it will do like this animation which is really 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 slow so she cannot really be like a unit or a go-to unit whenever you're already about to die. That's the reason why later we are going to trigger it in advance so that we will be able to give it a time uh, just to explode. But yeah, it really sucks that she works like that. However, I think the Mega Min is also a very good unit before when Trials 3 was a thing. Oh boy, air units are now here. Let's use Meteor Strike. Oh my god, wave number 28 air units just got deleted <laughs> by our only our Fujitora. Well, Fujitora is actually level 80, guys. Even though his damage is no longer that good, as you guys can see, still enough to one clap those air units around wave 28. Wave number 30 air units incoming, so family overall. There you go. Goodbye. <laughs> One hit delete. Another air unit from wave 31. Ooh, okay. They still got deleted. <laughs> oh my God. All right. I feel the power in my hands using this C4 unit. <laughs> Bro, this is really fun. There you go. Wave number 37. And we now have planted all of the C4 guys on the snow hangout village but as you guys can see we are not actually having any problem yet or except for this decelerate but look at this decelerate though <laughs> they're just eating all of our white beard tsunami so i think that we're not gonna have any problem as long as they are not passing our white beard six star here but yeah we are now almost like three levels before wave number 40 and this is gonna be really a solid unit guys we might actually have a chance to hit wave 50 not gonna lie wave number 40 and as you guys can see it's still gonna be the same thing they cannot pass through our white beard six star but of course guys it's not gonna be the start of the challenge because wave 41 onwards the mobs will be really really tanky now and well yeah you can already see that they are now almost reaching this corner here where fujitora is standing but no worries guys because we still have some clickable units or clickable skills okay we just detonated megamin's explosion and come on i want to see the damage bam all right i think that megamin's damage oh okay that's not that bad she made them bleed i'm not gonna detonate any more bombs here guys because i just wanted to make sure that 
those air units around wave number 43 will be killed. I think that that is the air unit that we really need to watch out. And I'm actually confident that there's going to be wave 45 plus. Just not sure about those air units around wave 46 and also wave 48, but we will see, guys. I'm now going to use our meteor strikes around here. Okay, that didn't actually kill them. All right, Fujitor's manual skill is now almost close to none. All right, there you go. Air units wave 43 as expected. And of course, family overall. Okay, they are not dying. Oh my God. Another meteor strike incoming. Dude, they're not dying. All right, um, explosion from our Mega Man. Oh, you know what? They're gonna die uh, using the light storm. What? They're still not dead? Dude, the damage. Oh my God. This is bad. Dude, the damage! Look at that! Oh, actually, we can kill these without using our Light Yagami. We're just gonna use our Emya. Yep. I think Emya would be able to kill them. Oh my god. Still no? I swear to god. If we're gonna die just because of these air units, uh, this is gonna be bad. Alright, I think that Emya should be enough. Okay, air units are now here. Lightning Storm incoming. Bam, finally. Those air units are dead. And we're just now gonna spam all of our <laughs> explosion here. Bruh, this is now wave number 45. And it's now about time for us to spam family overall. Oh my god. I just wanted to make sure that I will be focused when using like Yagami. Bro, detonate all the bombs. Detonate all the bombs. Meteor Strike. Come on, it's so laggy. Meteor Strike. Oh, I can't even see the Meteor Strike at this one. Okay, there you go. Um, Lightning Storm. Lightning storm. Okay, we now need to use our light Yagami. Okay, no more playing, guys. No more playing. Wave number 46 now. Actually, I'm not gonna use it. There you go. Bam! Wave number 46, and that's only gonna be our very first light Yagami. C4, indeed. One hit, delete. All right, so family overalls. Okay, there you go. Cloner is here. Oh, I no longer have a lot of manual skills. Oh my god. All right, lightning storm. There you go. Another lightning storm. Just gonna use the explosions thingy here. All right, there you go. And lightning storm as well. Oh boy. Oh boy. We need to use another light Yagami. Wait, this light Yagami is not even maxed. What? All right, so we have here um, a ground unit, but I think that this would be killed by our Emya. Yeah, 8,000. What's the SP of our Emya? Yep. It would be killed by our... Oh, wait. Wait a second. We got some air units here. Really, really tanky. All right. So if we will be able to kill this air units, I think that there's going to be a guaranteed wave 50. Detonating C4 incoming. Bam. Oh, my God. 20k, 20k, 20k. Um. All right. Right names. Just going to buy some time. Okay. Three, two, one. Goodbye, sayonara. Hey, wave number 48. How many light yagamis do we still have? I think we still have five. Yep, we still have five, guys. We still have five. And we just resetted everything here, as you guys can see. Hey, I knew it. This is going to be fun. All right. Oh, my God. It's just so laggy whenever I'm using family overall. God dang. All right. I think that we need some lightning storm from Emya here. Um, Emya, okay, another lightning storm available. Bruh, every single damage counts at this point because just wanted to make sure that we're not going to use our light Yagami as much as possible. We need to save him. Wave number 49, guys. And I think that, yeah, we would not be able to kill these decelerates. Actually, we would. Okay, um, we, need, we might need like two light Yagamis here. Look at their HP 60k plus, so... Yep, our damage for our light Yagami without any buff is only 53k. Wave clear, guys. There you go. Wave number 50 now. Oh my god. I knew it. There's going to be an epic run. Actually, now. And also another one. Bam. Oh, for real? Dude, that's going to be... Oh, it hurts. It hurts. Oh, that dude only got a hairline of HP. And I forgot I still got a oh, lightning storm. Bro, that was a big waste of DPS. All right, we are now on wave 51, I think. Yeah, going to wave number 51. And we now only have 
Yeah, one light Yagami. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, right names. And, oh, actually, we managed to kill that. All right, time to spam some of our C4s here. Baby C4s. There you go. Family overall. Oh, my God. This is so laggy. This is so laggy. <laughs> my CPU under my, under my table is warm. Okay, there you go. Meteor strikes. Oh, bro. I, we just need to kill, like, maybe one more wave. And this is going to be a guaranteed wave 52. All right, we still have one more light Yagami, right? Uh, maybe no. Oh, yeah, we still have. We still do have. We still do have. All right, right names. There you go. Oh, they didn't die. Oh, bruh. Um, lightning storm. Yep, they're not gonna die. This is it for us, guys. Wow. <laughs> Still gonna be way 50 plus, though. All right, that's not that bad. So there you go, guys. That is the power of the C4 squad here on ASDD. And not gonna lie, guys, that was really a fun run detonating those C4 bombs and nuking the infinite mode. But anyway, guys, that's gonna pretty much it for this video. If you enjoy watching this video, don't forget to leave a like and, of course, subscribe. Use star codes now whenever you're buying robux and as always thank you so much for watching stay cold peace out